Hello and welcome. This is the Bookworm and I am Anisha Choudhury. Today is a little special because so far I have mostly focused on fiction books and I figured maybe it's a good time to get started on non-fiction. So, if you're a new reader who's looking to get into non-fiction, I would recommend you start with the book that I started with. This the city of jins by william dalrymple to give you a little perspective about this book it comes under the category of travel writing slash history and deals with the history of delhi to be precise now don't get intimidated when i say that it's a book on the history of delhi because it's not a big fat serious book that is going to put you to sleep i mean like look at it it's a very compact read and what is the most unique thing about this book is the fact that it's not serious at all it's very fun to read and it almost reads like a love letter from dalrymple to delhi which i guess it is i mean if you know William Dalrymple is then you would probably get it if you do not know he is a leading historian on Mughal history in India and has written some absolutely amazing books on the subject which I hope to review in the next upcoming videos but coming back to this book it is an ode to Delhi from one of its most ardent lovers coming to the plot of this book it is something that i think is to be discussed the structure of the book the book begins in the 1980s when it was written and then it travels back in time like it begins around the 1984 riots of delhi and then and then it goes to partition in 47 then it talks about the colonial delhi under the british and then the mughal court and delhi under the sultanate and finally there is the mention of indraprasth which was the city from mahabharat that is supposed to have existed where delhi exists today so it kind of takes you through this amazing journey that the city has taken and it gives you a very detailed overview historical overview about the journey of the city which i find is truly enriching now this this structure again is Uh, very unique in a sense that the entire narrative of the book is set within the time span of a year so with each season in delhi you start exploring a new phase in its history so that is something that struck me as quite a brilliant idea the first time i read it and it's a plot structure that i truly love and apart from the plot structure what i guess works for the book are the characters like there are certain very particular delhi wala characters in this book like there is one mrs puri who is the landlady of the author then there is one balvinder singh who is a ambassador taxi driver i mean you won't see an ambassador taxi in delhi anymore but these are truly typical delhi wala characters who bring a lot of color into the story and i guess that's what makes this book so enriching and so readable and enjoyable and at the same time it's very scholarly academic and very well researched so it's a very unique and a rare book in the sense that once you have gone through it you feel like oh i know so much more about the history of delhi but also i had a such a fun time reading this book so that is something very unique and i have been recommending this book to my friends ever since i read it back in school and everyone has gotten back to me and said what a brilliant book this is nobody has anything bad to say about it so you know like when so many people say such good things about a book you know it's special so that was mostly it about this book it's one of my most favorites and if i'm ever told to make a list on the books about india that are my favorite this one will surely make it to that list so if you're a history nerd if you're just a newbie reader who is looking to read something on in the non fiction genre or if you just want a good enriching weekend read i would highly suggest everyone go and read this book if you already haven't i mean this book just keeps on giving so that was about it about the city of jins by william dalrymple uh 
it's available in ebook format as a kindle in paperbacks hardbacks it's available everywhere i'll put the links down below and william dalrymple is such a favorite author of mine i can go on about this for hours but there are also some other books that i feel need to be talked about so i would love to make videos on them and if this one gets a good enough response i will consider making more videos on dalrymple's books so please let me know in the con comments below if you would want to see them and what are the best bits of this book if you have read it and what are the reviews or recommendations you want from me put all of that down in the comments below and this is a new channel so please like and subscribe and if you liked what you saw please go ahead and share it with your friends thank you very much